Earnings out of General Mills this week showed it continues to see tailwinds in its business from people eating more at home during the pandemic. But like others in big food of late, cost pressures have begun to nip away at the cereal and snack giant's bottom line. Joining us now is General Mills Chairman and CEO Jeff Harmoning. Jeff, always good to speak with you. Thanks for taking some time uh, this morning. So sales in your business going really well. I'm looking at the meals and baking business in the U.S. sales up 15 percent. That's good. Cereal business up 9 percent. But you did highlight this week you are seeing some inflation. Where are you seeing it? So um, you're right. Th thanks. It's good to be on the, the program. And you're right. We are seeing great growth um, across our North American business in particular, including our pet business. And uh, but we're also seeing rising cost pressures and increased cost to serve. And, you know, the, the inflation that we're starting to see is broad based. I mean, we see it in grains. We see it in logistics, not only the, here in the U.S., but also globally. And fortunately, you know, we have good productivity programs and are looking to put some um, some pricing in place. And so we have the tools we need in order to battle it. But we are starting to see inflation, as are most of our competitors. Jeff, it's Julie here. On a related note, we've talked a lot about the sort of port congestion that's been going on with the the tanker stuck in the Suez as sort of a prime example or container ship. Um, what about not just cost pressures as a result of that congestion, but are you guys having any trouble getting stuff where it needs to be? In, uh, in large part, no, we're not having trouble getting stuff where it needs to be. At the last week of February, we had, you know, we had a couple of days of short-term challenges with all the winter storms in Texas up through Tennessee. But bigger picture, no, for us, getting things where it needs to be is not the problem. It's it's really a matter of we, we see increased price pressure on logistics um, due to shortages in labor and more packages being shipped. But, but no, we're not having trouble getting the things that we need to get. You know, amidst your earnings uh, this week, Jeff, you also announced a transaction. Uh, so you are buying, you are unloading a part of your Yoplait yogurt business, but also gaining a part of it. Take us through that transaction. And are you done reshaping your portfolio? So we announced earlier this week that we, we have a proposal in place to, to sell the European part of our yogurt business uh, to Sodial, who's our current joint venture partner, while at the same time uh, purchasing 100% ownership of the Canadian yogurt business, as well as reducing royalties on our, our U.S. and Canadian business. And the reason we're doing that really is to, to increase our growth profile, both in Europe and uh, for the company in total. And particularly in Europe, it's important because it will allow us to focus on our, our big global brands, businesses such as Old El Paso and haagen ice cream and Nature Valley in the bars category, where we've got really good margins and really good growth prospects. So it's a it's a transaction that will enhance the growth and margin profile of the company, um, while, while also let, allowing us to increase our focus on things where we have greater growth potential. Jeff, apologies. I want to come back to something that you said in, in the prior answer before talking about um, that, that deal. And that's labor cost pressures, which you mentioned in, in passing. And and I key on that because economists who we've spoken to have said, you know, we're not going to see more substantial inflation really like Fed, the kind that Fed, the Fed watches until we say see inflation in wages. Are you guys raising wages now? Are you planning to raise wages over the course of the year? And you mentioned maybe are you having a little trouble finding people right now? Well, the, the cost pressure I really talked about was in specifically with regard to logistics, um, because during the pandemic, it was it was hard to train new drivers. At the same time, e-commerce has really grown. And so that's put that's put pressure on the availability of logistics relative to the demand. And we've also seen growth in uh, in our commodity prices, things like uh, grains in particular. So it, re it really wasn't with regard to our our labor organization. Our, our employees are, are well paid already. So the inflation isn't necessarily targeted at there, more of the logistics and the, and the input costs. Jeff, I remember ahead of this interview, I was thinking back to an investor day uh, General Mills did. And I was before you were CEO, you were you were in there. We were, we were both at the New York Stock Exchange. I never thought I. I come to the day where I'd be asking about shrimp tails inside of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But there's a lot of social media uproar, uproar on that. What's the latest? Is is it is this a General Mills related issue? Is this a consumer issue? What can you tell us? Well, I, I, m most importantly, I can tell you there's been a lot. There's been a lot uh, written and said about this particular topic. Our sole focus 
is on making sure we get to the bottom of what exactly has happened. And so that's what we're in the process of doing. I can say with a good deal of confidence that, you know, whatever has transpired didn't really take place at our manufacturing facility, just due to the nature of uh, the facility itself and, and the evidence we've gathered so far. We're still trying to piece together exactly what has happened. And importantly, we're working with the consumer to make sure we get a hold of the product and all the packaging so we can determine, you know, what exactly has happened. And so even though we're confident that whatever happened didn't take place at our facility, that doesn't mean we have exact answers on exactly what has happened. And we're working with the consumer in order to do that. Good to hear. And we'll leave it there. General Mills Chairman and CEO Jeff Harmoning. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.